well today. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just did a chemical peel, that's why I look like I'm 90 years old. Anywho, we're going back up here to set up the feeder. All right, so we're walking back here to the backyard. So basically what we're doing is we're gonna move this feeder probably closer to here so it's in view of the house. And then I've got these lights so I can just like watch the deer at night or the raccoons eat. They're really cool, they're solar powered. They're green lights, so they don't scare anything away. And then maybe we'll get some so, you know, uh, we had just one of the regular feeders before with the battery, but stuff kept getting in it and the raccoons would rip the battery pack out and all that fun stuff, but it looks like the squirrels have had their way with it. What are you doing? All right, guys, there's one more of those lights. So I'll show you guys us moving it. See, look, they tore it up. All right, how are you gonna take it down? Oh, like just like this. <laughs> oh, camera. They're all about it. So I turned it so there's lights on sides and none facing the house because they will blind you. Like you won't be able to see anything because they get so bright when the sun fully charges them in the summer. It's really cool. We are off to tractor supply to get more corn to fill the feeder up. All right, guys, this is the finished product. The feeder's all moved and it's filled up with corn. It took four 50 pound bags, so it holds 200 pounds of feed. Um, there's no batteries or timers or anything with the gravity feeders, which I really like because you don't have to worry about it going off or not going off or the raccoons ripping it out and no corn coming out. Whenever the deer want, they can just come and eat right out of these and it automatically just goes down with gravity. These are the lights. I don't know if I can get, oh, there it goes, dark enough. And they come on at night green like that. They're really cool. I'll show you them at night if anything comes out here. Okay guys, the deer have not 
found the feeder yet, but the raccoons have. So I'm going to shine a spotlight on them and see if I can get them to run the light just so you guys can see the light. So. I don't do justice on the camera really. I can't even show you. But they will like silhouette the whole outside. That's all I got for you guys. I literally ran out here in my socks. That was crazy. Let me know if you guys want to see a, a back porch coon hunt. I hope you guys like this video of us setting up our boss book feeder with our lights. I'll link everything in the description box below. Please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we will see you guys next time. Bye!